Talk turkey. Most you know, that's our chicken coop. That's our duck coop. That's gonna be that mess right there. And that wood right there. It's going to be our turkey coop. You might say to yourself, how am I gonna build a turkey coop? Pretty basic. You don't need to know construction. You don't need to know, you don't have to have built a house. It's basic. It's for turkeys. You're not gonna live in it. Turkeys are. So basically, it's gotta have a roof, keep them dry. Walls, keep the wind and snow out. Some chicken wire, poultry wire, to help keep the predators out and for airflow and then a way to close that in the winter, keep them warm. We're not gonna keep our turkeys during the winter, so a lot of that's out the window. So basically we're gonna have a roof, sides, some poultry wire, the wind can go through, nice breeze, because we're just gonna raise turkeys in the summer. We're gonna make a little run, so that if we wanna keep them in there, we can keep them in there, and then when we wanna let them free range, we can let them free range. So here we go. I hope. Hi ho, it's off to work we go. Here I got some 2x4s. Two 2x4s two would be your best friend. You get these at any local lumber yard. Not too expensive. Alright, so when you're going to build a coop, here's what you have to think of. We're doing one for turkeys. It's the same for chickens, ducks. A little bit different. Alright, so first thing you should think of is size. How big do I want this thing to be? Hmm. Key number one, don't make it too small. You can't make it really too big. I mean, I suppose you could put a bed in there, a cot, TV, hang out with your turkeys all day if you wanted to, but you can't really make it too big. So the determinative factor would be how much do you want to spend on a roof? What do you have for roofing? You want to keep them dry safe and be able to maybe put a heat lamp in there so you don't want a lot of water dripping through and going on your heat lamps and blowing bulbs so think about how much roofing you have or how much roof you can get do that research first then how much do you want to spend on wood after you think about how much you want to spend on wood think about how many turkeys chickens or ducks you want to have for your coop then figure that out simple go to google Type in, how much room should I have per chicken? It'll tell you two to three square feet per chicken in the coop. Five square feet in the run, simple. So just do that math and then figure out how many you wanna have, how big it is. Can you afford all the material, all the feed and all that? Then start building your coop. So that's the kind of research I did first. So let's get started. you'll need is wood, screws or nails. I like the screws because they hold better together. A saw of some sort, you can borrow one, you can rent one. Sure you know someone that has one or you can invest in one. You don't need a super expensive one, just something that'll cut the wood. You could do it with a skill saw. I'll finish cutting up my wood and then we'll go outside. Whew. One thing I found, nothing in life is easy. Especially anything you really want. So you gotta get out there and do it. Just go do it. Stop making excuses. And make your coop. Right if you watch this video. Rude. 
So basically I built it on the ground, put it up, way easier to build on the ground. So here it is. It's not too bad. These are one by twelves. Don't worry about this little strip right here. I got a piece going through there. So we're ready to build the back wall. That basically I'll connect them and then we'll start playing with the Alright. So now that we got the back wall done, I think I just walk a fly. Now that we got the back wall done, I gotta come up here. Don't mind our clothesline. Gotta come up here. See how long my roof is. It's been so long since I measured it. I don't remember. Here's the back side of our barn. This is where the goats are gonna go eventually. Right now we're using it as storage. Bunch of junk back here. But we got a bunch of roofing too. We're taking out barns and whatnot. <clears throat> so we save all that, of course. Try not to die back here. Whoa! So much stuff. All right, let's see if we can do this. I'll flip you around so you can see. Let's see. Basically, I just need a rough measurement of my roofing. A lot of numbers. Oh, so it's almost 14 feet. Look at this roofing I just walked by. Pretty cool. We could put a skylight in there. Turkeys like skylights, right? See the sun come up in the morning? Just kidding. So, here's what we got so far. Front wall, the back wall. So the back wall, I'm gonna put a couple, a couple studs in there too. Help hold some weight of that roof. So I gotta put the roof on there. Whoop, whoop. Now I just gotta decide uh, how wide I want it. Ah, 14 feet, that's, that's huge. I think, I think the chicken coop. I'm pretty sure I did that at 12. It might be 14. I mean, look at all that hangover over there. That's kind of huge. I don't want it too, too big. I'm gonna put the geese in here in the winter. Turkeys during the summer. 